Well, good morning. It's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So this morning I'm sitting outside. It's hot, but it's not too hot yet. And I'm reading through some Psalms in my quiet time. And I wanted to pause for a moment and talk to you about a Psalm that I just read, specifically the first couple of verses of Psalm 21. The, the, the Psalm is, is one of these uh, kingly Psalms that talks in wonderful fashion about the wonderful king of Israel at the time, and, but, but only in reference to the Lord. That's what made a good king of Israel is one that walked with the Lord. Uh, those kings that did not walk with the Lord, they were not good kings. And, and the, the human condition is such that if, if we're not walking with God, drawing our strength and our um, attention and our priorities and our focus from him, then our heart and our mind tend to wander to things where they shouldn't be. And uh, we tend to grow into things we shouldn't be. And our actions are actions they shouldn't be. So anyway, with that in your brain as you hear this, I want you to hear the first couple of verses of this and think about it for a moment with me. The psalm begins, O Lord, calling uh, God, Jehovah God, by his, his Hebrew name that he gave Moses. O Lord, in your strength, the king rejoices. And in your salvation, how greatly he exalts. Now, I'm going to go on in a minute, but just pause for a moment and, and think about that. Most kings, most rulers, many people, they draw their strength from what they've got. They draw their strength from their nation, their popularity, their military force, their economics. And, and while leaders are that way, people aren't far behind. We tend to draw our strength from uh, our ability to to live in this world in, in, in economic prosperity or our ability to, to, to know that we, we are surrounded by people who will protect us or take care of us. But the psalmist says, O oh Lord, in your strength, the king rejoices. It, it, it's, it's in your help, your salvation, your rescue, that he greatly exalts. There's a recognition here that, uh, of course, there's strength in, in being uh, uh, secure, uh, financially, socially, familially, emotionally, uh, uh, occupationally, all, all of the above. But to any extent we've got any security in anything in the world, that security is only there because God has put it there. So the psalmist and hopefully the king see beyond the immediate presence of what is available and sees who made that available. It's the idea that James says in the New Testament that every good and perfect gift comes from God above. And so it's not surprising to see the psalmist continue and talk about how God's given the king the desires of his heart. And, and it's God who's answered the requests of his lips. And it's God who's met him with rich blessings. And it's God who set the crown of fine gold on his head. It's God who gave him his life. It's God who kept him alive that day. day. It, I mean, the king rightly exalts in God because God is the source of all things that are that are, are good in this life. So I'm reading that psalm and I'm thinking through my day and I want you to think through yours. And I'm pausing to recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from above. So today I've got a lot of meetings with a lot of people. And I've got some wonderful chances to, to, to work 
and to shine. And if I see all of this as a gift from God and I draw my strength from him, then I'm gonna work and I'm gonna shine for him today, not for myself. So don't look at what you have and don't look at what gives you strength. Look behind it to who gave you that and who gives you the strength. That's my plan for today. I hope it's my plan for every day. God bless you. That's your video thought for today.